Yeah, it's Greg Atron again. Second video of the day. Uh, last, I just talked about Ninja Gaiden 2 for my video game reviews of the week. And uh, now I'm going to talk about some Bayonetta. This, too, was in my top ten. Make sure y'all can see it. Uh, this this was just a kick-ass game. Okay, I, I tell all my friends about this who like Devil May Cry or Ninja Gaiden or any type of, uh, you know, God of War. Is this... Any type of action game, I just I just tell folks about this because everybody should know about Bayonetta because it's just so epic and it's it's just so good. The story, you know, first of all the cinematics, it feels like I'm watching an anime. You know, one of the characters' voices is a, a character off of an anime show I like. That's one, and then everybody takes the role really seriously. Like, there's not one actor. Well, there's not a whole lot of actors, but. There's not one actor that's just there who you're like, that person's doing an okay job. No, everybody does a good job acting. Uh, everybody's, you know, the, the faces, their their voice moves with what they're saying, or their mouth moves with what they're saying. Their, their voice can't move. But uh, it just feels like I'm watching a movie, you know. It, the, the cinematics is just so good, and it's funny. Uh, the, the characters are funny. Uh People's relationships are good, you know, the way they get along with each other, and, uh, like, like, Bayonetta, her, one of her villains, her name's, like, Jean, uh, they're, I mean, they're villain, that's her villain, but the way they, uh, the way they interact with each other is really good, but yeah, that's that, and, uh, the, the story itself is really interesting, uh, a witch wakes up, not remembering a thing all she knows is she's a witch and she's trying to figure out all this stuff and it's just it's just chaotic in, in the process and there, there's a few twists good twists but uh you'll you'll be uh fascinated from beginning to end uh the action man that, that that's that's the biggie in this game the action like I said in the beginning, it's kick ass, man. It, she, she's all over the place. Uh, a combination of Y and B, if you have PlayStation, and what is that? Uh, triangle and circle. Uh, she just can do all this crazy stuff. Like when it comes to action, I think this game did beat God of War, but I shouldn't have even said that because now people are gonna be arguing over it. But uh. She she just has so many powers and it's just balanced out at the same time. Like it's not like it's too crazy. Like it's it is crazy, but if you play the game, you'll be able to comprehend what's going on. But if you just see the game, it'll be a lot. Like I had a buddy who didn't even want to play it because he just saw so much crazy stuff. And uh, like I said, she's a witch and she's got these these. Uh, bizarre powers like she can transform into animals like uh, a panther and birds and uh what, was, what else was it i think that was it panther and birds uh but yeah she her, her power she's got guns on her feet so you can be shooting two guns with your hands and like do a handstand shoot off your feet so you can like shoot four people at the same time <clears throat> another good thing is you get to upgrade your techniques uh, it's under like a pause menu or something or when you go to hell there's this menu where you can purchase things you can you can purchase uh the candy is like either medicine or a, a protective aura or magic like more magic you know, you can buy your techniques. Like, there's just a list of of techniques of things that you can do. I didn't even buy all of them. You know, it's just a lot of stuff you can do. And I didn't even use all the techniques, all the special attacks, because there's just so much to do. And the combat worked so well. Like, you can transform into a, a panther and, like, run circles around your enemy and then just, like, run up behind him and then just transform back into a human and then just beat the mess out of people. It's just it's just too much. 
The bosses are good. Now, I talked about the bosses for Ninja Gaiden 2. Now, I'm, I'm going to say it's not as good as those bosses, but this has some pretty unique bosses. You'll fight things in this game. Well, you fight angels, but for the bosses, you'll fight things that you've never seen ever in any game. It's pretty weird stuff. Like, there's this cube-looking thing, but it's a ball, and it's got a like a power node in the in the middle of it in the center and the ball can transform into all these in all these different shapes like it'll be a snake or a bird or these arms it it's just weird but it's it's fun because you can't penetrate the thing the only time you can hurt it is if you hit the center piece that's what makes it hard but like all the bosses are fun and they'll keep you on your toes and it's really fun and not just the bosses but just uh fighting the angels in general is just a whole lot of fun and she can do this this special technique where you have so much magic uh if you press a certain button like y and b or something she uh she unleashes hell man she she'll do this uh decapitation thing where uh, she uses her powers to make a guillotine. You know, and there's just, what do they call them? Torture attacks? Or something like that. And it's game over at that point. For them, it is. <clears throat> For you, it's good news. Uh, but yeah, I, I can't say enough good things about this game. I didn't have any problems with this game. But it's, the story was good, the action was good, the graphics were really nice. So this game here, I give, I think a nine point three, three nine point three is fine. Uh, when I got it, it was forty bucks. That was when it was used. It was on sale, but it's probably cheaper now. Just go ahead and get it used. Uh, so that's Bayonetta, and uh, stay tuned. Thanks.